everybody. Hope you all are doing well. I've been busy, but I wanted to do a quick video and show you something that I just finished. Uh, another one of my sweet, dear girlfriends, she and I decided to do a swap together. And um, she is a card maker and a quilter, so she doesn't usually get into crafting outside of those two things. So she wanted to um, do something different with me. So we decided to uh, make a piece of artwork that we could frame. And I'm not sure what she's doing, and I don't think she knows exactly what I'm doing either, but um, I have always wanted to try my hand at silk ribbon embroidery work, so I decided this was a good time to try it and I could frame it for her. So this is the book that I followed. I got this book off of Amazon, and it's a very easy book to follow. It's got very nice pictures and step-by-step -step instructions. Everything is explained really well. It gives you all of the stitches that are used in, in uh, making all of these different flowers that are in here. And in the very back of the book, there is a sheet that you can tear out. And this has all of your patterns that are used in this book. And I took this to the copy store and had them enlarge it in color for me. And then I bought um, that transfer paper that you use for transferring your you know, patterns onto fabric. And I didn't like the end result at all, so I just used a light box and traced mine onto the um, fabric. And I didn't trace all of the little detail lines that you see in these patterns, like this one right here. I used this one on my picture that I made, but I just outlined it. I just traced the outline mark of where things were going to go. And then you don't really need all that detail work in there. It helps, I guess, but you don't really have to have it. So it, that made it a lot easier to, to uh, copy. And so once I got it all copied on, I, I used um, this disappearing ink pen that's made by Dritz to copy it. And, um, it really does work, it does disappear, and I think it lasted about a week, uh, and that gave me time to you know, walk away from it and do some other things and still come back to it, and my markings were still there. So um, that was a, um, an easy method to use, that disappearing ink. Also, I watched some YouTube videos, and they had suggested that I buy uh, or, you know, that you buy your silk ribbons all in white instead of buying different colors and then use your uh, alcohol ink markers to color your ribbons. So that's what I did. I bought um, four different sizes. I bought two, four, seven, and 13 millimeter, and this is the seven millimeter. And very easy to color. And I didn't have um, alcohol ink markers so I went out and got some and that YouTube video that I watched had suggested that you get pro markers and that's what I got but if you already have Copic markers those work too because it's just alcohol ink markers that you need so um, this is the ones that I went with so um, now I'll show you what my project looks like okay here it is um, the frame I got from Hobby Lobby and it was blue, I painted it gold, and then I uh, went over it with the cream and a crackle. And uh, I made the resin pieces that are in the opposite corners, and then I painted those gold and went over them with a, a cream, the same cream paint, and then I added the rhinestone trim to each one. And then in the top corner, I added um, some dangle seed beads just for something different. I just wanted a little bit of something different on the frame. And that was it for the frame. And then, um, as you can see, there's my picture. And the stitches that I have used on, on this picture are very easy. It's like the easiest stitches that you can learn how to do in ribbon embroidery work. And so I wanted to go with easy stitches because I didn't want to stress myself out using, you know, trying to do something that was too hard and it was also, you know, a gift and I just didn't want to get all stressed out over it. So 
um, I chose things that were easy to do. And I'm real happy with the way it turned out. I love it. And I love how the pins just blend together with the coloring. And um, it's just so easy to do. So, so easy. I would say the hardest thing on here that I did was probably the butterfly. And that's only because it, there's a lot of work involved in making the little butterfly because the wings are actually uh, stitched on to, you do uh, embroidery work on cotton fabric. And then you have to cut them out and you have to seal the edges so the fabric doesn't fray. And then I also went over the uh, edges of the wings with um, stickles to give it a little glitter. And the body of the butterfly is actually stitched onto the picture. And then the wings, are, you know, like I said, are made out of cotton. And then you cut them out and stitch them on um, just at the body. So they're free except for where they're tacked on near the body. And that's it. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. And I sure hope my girlfriend likes it. So I'm about ready to put this in the mail to her. So, um... Yeah, that's it, guys, for now. I'll be back, I'm sure, with another project to share with you soon. So thanks for watching. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.